Hey there, this is Heather Ford with TwoBlooms.com and in this Lightroom tutorial I'm going to show you how to get started with Lightroom. Well, I'm not actually going to show you how to get started with importing and whatnot, but I wanted to explain to you how Lightroom works because this is essential to using Lightroom. If you don't understand how it fully works with your photos and with the catalog, then you're really missing out on the potential of Lightroom and what it can offer to you. So we're going to dive right in and I'm going to show you how this works. So over here you have your uh, folders with all of your photos. We are in the library module and this is where all of your photos um, are organized in Lightroom. They're not actually in Lightroom though. Your photos are actually in your computer or on your hard drive wherever you have them set up when you import them. So Lightroom is basically like this photo viewing software. They're not actually in Lightroom, but you're able to view raw files and your JPEG files in Lightroom in the film strip down here. So I created this really simple graphic to show you the three parts of Lightroom. So first you have your Lightroom program, which is what I just had opened. Then you have your Lightroom catalog. Your catalog is where all of the changes that you make to your photos are stored. This is why Lightroom is non-destructive to your photos, because you make all of the changes to your catalog and not to your photos. So all of the changes you make for, you know, renaming your photos or editing them, things like that are stored in the catalog and they don't apply to your photos. And then you have your photos itself, which are um, on your computer, on your hard drive, or wherever you have them stored. So there's three parts of Lightroom, and that is really crucial to understand when you're using Lightroom, because if you think um, that your photos are in Lightroom, then you are very um, deceived. So there's three parts of Lightroom. The Lightroom, you know, uh, itself, the Lightroom catalog, and your photos. And the three of them work together to accomplish your task. Okay, then I created this little graphic to show you how it really works. So you have, when you import your photos, which when you import it shouldn't even be called importing, it should be calling um, referencing or something else because you're not actually putting the photos inside Lightroom itself. So you have your shoot folder, which is the folder that you name that's right over here. And then you have the catalog and then your original photos. Your original photos are actually stored on your computer, like I said before, or your hard drive, wherever you have those set up. Now all of the changes that you make in Lightroom are going to be on your in your Lightroom catalog. So it's kind of like an overlay. So you make all these changes to your catalog and it like overlays your photos, but it doesn't doesn't harm your original photos, which is so great about Lightroom and so this is how it works It's how it's set up you know the three parts and then how it's non-destructive to your photos so let me just kinda show you this you see my my catalog is up here where all of my photos are stored I only have one catalog set up you know for less confusion and whatnot and then down here are my folders now what's so great about Lightroom is that it's a database, meaning that you can add keywords to your photos and organize them in any way that you want to keep them super organized. And you can see I have mine organized by year. They're kind of um, misorganized down here. I need to do some more of that. But then I have my personal photos. I can scroll down. I have photos for my two blooms. Then I have photos for my photography and for my clients and so on and so forth. So these photos aren't actually in Lightroom themselves. This is just a way that I can view these photos really quickly. So like I said before, the photos are not in Lightroom itself. They are in your photo folder on your hard drive. And you are viewing them through Lightroom. And whenever you make a change, you can see that I have already edited this photo. It's actually making a change to your catalog and not to your, your original photo which is so amazing because in other 
editing programs, you're always making changes to your original photo, which is not ideal if you want to keep your originals. So that's the gist of how Lightroom works. It's really easy to start um, working with Lightroom once you understand that basic concept. So if you want to learn more Lightroom tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I will be adding new Lightroom tutorials every single week. And if you want to take your Lightroom skills to the next level, check out my three-part video training course. I will put the link in the description below. You can sign up for absolutely free. And um, subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Bye.